cut holes in the roof, blow insulation in, and then seal it back up again so it doesn't leak. Um, we're going to cut 8 inch holes, straddled on a truss. So you can see I'm kind of walking on the roof here. And I think the truss is right about here. I want to be in the middle so that we're on the roof where it's least likely to leak or have a puddle. Mark out the hole I want. I'm going to cut that open. Peel it back. Um, we're going to use a fill rig over here. Blow it full of fiberglass. We can start a hole in the roof just by going through it like that with a chisel and a hammer. Then that'll give us a place to finish out the rest of those cuts. The turbo shear is used to cut a hole through the metal skin of the mobile's roof. Watch out for sharp edges when working around sheet metal. You may wish to wear gloves to protect your hands from cuts and slivers. Now, you can see we're straddling a truss. That way gives you equal access to both sides and you can blow two bays with only one penetration. You can take your fill tube and shove it over to this side and this side. And then when you're done there, bring the fill tube back around and send it in those two directions. Insert the insulation fill pipe all the way to the edge of the ceiling cavity. It is important to fill the entire cavity. If you create a slight bend in the pipe, three feet or so from the end, you can do the insulating standing up, reducing back and knee strain. Use plenty of sealant when patching the holes. You do not want the roof to leak and cause damage to the home. What I like to do is stand on the plate at this point and put the screws in in a way that will work any bubbles out to the edges. So I'm going to go number one, screw that one second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, then work out the corners, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. If you start in the corners and try and work towards the middle, it's going to make a bubble there and it's not going to seal right for you. Seal the top of the patch with mesh and mobile home roof coating. In cold conditions, use an asphalt-based roof coating. In warmer conditions, an elastomeric coating is preferred. Elastomeric roof sealers need a minimum of 6 hours above 40 degrees to dry properly. Another method for insulating a mobile home ceiling cavity is to use a flexible fill tube to blow the material through. Find the space between two trusses and drill a two and a half inch hole. Because of construction, you may need to drill more than one hole per cavity. Wear gloves to protect your hands from the sharp edges of the sheet metal. Feed the fill tube through the hole to the outer edge of the roof. This may be difficult in very hot weather if you have a soft fill tube. Some hoses become like cooked spaghetti. You should use a stiffer tube so that it doesn't bend over on itself. It is important to get the end of the fill tube all the way to the outer edge. Start filling the cavity, turning the hose from side to side as you go.
piece of tape or a mark about a foot from the end of the tube lets you know when you are getting toward the end of filling the cavity. Turn off the material feed and clear the hose as you finish. Seal the hole with a tight-fitting plastic plug and a sealant. Cover the plug with a peel and seal patch and seal with roof coat. If you have questions about the material that you are using, read the material safety data sheet. Consult your safety policy and your supervisor. Elastomeric roof sealers need a minimum of 6 hours above 40 degrees to dry properly.